they want the probability of getting a spade given that you picked a black card. So you know you picked a black card already. Uh, so you definitely picked black. What's the probability of getting a spade? Well, you can just think of it like, oh, well, there's only uh, spades and clubs that are black. 50-50 chance, it's spades. Uh, so that's your answer. You could also think of it as uh, black cards. You already know you picked black, so that's your given, and there are 26 blacks in the deck. And of those blacks, uh, 13 of them are spades. So again, that reduces to one half. This is the way I like to think of these given mats. I just focus my attention on the given, and that's my denominator, and then look at what I want of those, and that's my numerator. So I look at the black spades, and that's how I get that. They want you to use this, this complicated looking formula, which also works, and if you need to show work, I can show you how. So here they want the number of ways, oh, I think that N stands for number, which is nice. The number of ways to get both A and B. So the number of ways to get a black spade is 13, and the number of ways to get just black is 26. So that's nice. That's nice. I was looking at that N before. I'm like, why N? Why not P? A lot of times you'll see this written with as the probability of A and B. You'll get a probability of B, but it often ends up working out the same. So, yeah, so that fancy formula is just a scary way of saying what we just did.